Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Let's Play Belladonna Cove. We are back after um, a very long time. Um, yeah, my bad, guys. I um, There's not enough hours in the day to do all the things I want to do. And I had another game distract me for it's still distracting me actually I really want to be playing it right now but I also know that you guys are waiting for these videos and I really 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 want to finish Belladonna Cove we're so close to finishing off this series I really want to finish it and then I want to get and finish like other LPs that I just have on the go and refocus and things like that so there's so much to do and not enough time and it's literally been a year since I started this LP it needs to be done so that's what we're here for. We're back with Sophia Baldwin and uh, Gavin Newsom and their twin boys. You'll notice, um, one, Sophia has an outfit a change. Two, we're in a new home. And three, our children have aged into toddlers. I've played a smidgen off camera about a day, but the, tw the twins aged up. So let me first um, introduce you to our new home. As you know, with Isabel in what is happening to my trash out here, um, since Isabel is in jail slash um, being uh, examined for uh, her mental issues, um, she's not at home and she's not fit to raise her children who are still underage. So they were in their current apartment and Benjamin, uh, what is her brother's name? Marcus? Forgetting everyone's names. Marcus is now living with his father, Benjamin, and his stepmother, Chastity, and his uh, step-siblings, or half-siblings. Uh, and Sophia and Gavin decided to move into a home, and this is the home that they're going to uh, pretty much, I think, stay for um, as long as they can. They might upgrade uh, into a bigger home. Maybe they're going to have more kids in the future, so there's definitely um, not enough space for that if they want more children. So this is, for now, our temporarily permanent residence, and I really love it. So it is a townhouse style. It is by no means done in terms of uh, renovations and everything. But I, um, I made it just a little more modern and homey. It was really, like, old-looking when we first moved in. So you walk in, we have on this side uh, the computer and everything for Gavin to do his work in financial consulting. Uh, a treadmill on this side with the stereo. Here is our living area over in front of our fireplace, and we've got, like, a nice TV. Honestly, the money that um, Sophia was given from Isabel and her father really is contributing to all of this and Gavin in his wildest dreams would not have thought he had this much money. Um, our uh, dining area is right here. It's really cute, simple but cute. The kitchen, which I, of course, you know me, I love, love, love my kitchens. I love it. And we've got blue. Um, this rug, the colors of orange and yellow just go so well with these blue countertops. Um, and even the window frame, it is a small kitchen, but you know, I like it. I added in a, like a heater. We can turn on the heater. What? I didn't know you could do that. Um, and it's it's cozy. It's nice. Sophia is definitely not a chef. That is not her main thing. She's a fitness junkie, but at the same time, she tries her best uh, for her kids. You come upstairs. We've got a hallway. Nothing too fancy in the hallway. A one bathroom, which will be a problem if we have more people. <laughs> and it's just filled with, like, you know, the normal stuff. Um, our bedroom, which, um, you know, it's pink and green. I was struggling with the color scheme of this room, but I like the accent wall. And um, I did a complimentary solid color. And then the sheets also complement that. So, and we got another computer up here. Actually, this is Gavin's office. Uh, the downstairs computer is for, like, the kids and Sophia to use. Um, I forgot that I, I did that. But, yeah, this is this is Gavin's. It's all businessy. You can see it's all set up for his um, consulting. And then here's the twins' room. It's so cute and nursery-like and blue and just, like, it's adorable. Like, I didn't think Sophia would get so, so, so excited about uh, decorating the nursery and raising these two boys. But she is. She's so excited. So then is the tour of the home. Uh, I'm going to make this like a barbecue and then probably fence this off and make it like a backyard playground for the boys. 
but that's for when they're children and that doesn't have to happen right now. So I want to take you quickly to, we're going to start with Bryce, even though he's uh, taking a dump right now. He's on, he's on the body. He's on the body, but he looks exactly like Gavin. It is so funny how much he looks like Gavin. Like, look at that face. Actually, now that I'm looking at him, he looks like Sophia, but he has Gavin's hair. Um, and, uh, strangely, I didn't realize that, uh, Sophia and uh, Gavin's, um, personalities were literally exactly the same. Look at this and look at that. The only thing that changes is that he's a Sagittarius and she is an Aquarius, but that means that they're like literally born, like their birthdays are like two weeks apart or a month apart within a month. And, um, so that's why they get along so well. So Bryce and Tice are also the same. They're both Sagittariuses as well. Uh, and they are um, just slightly different. Uh, Bryce is a little less nice than Tice. Bryce is less nice than Tice. Oh my god, so much ices in this. <gasps> um, yeah. So that's cool. That's a pretty that's pretty much it. So um oh sorry, but Tice has black hair like Sophia, and I think his face looks, he to me looks a lot more like Sophia, they're both really, really freaking cute, oh my god, I'm very excited about it, um, so we are, um, here, Sophia didn't actually go to school today, she is failing school right now, honestly, I really don't care, like, I don't find, I don't think it's a big deal, and... But she honestly she doesn't feel like she needs it one thing I was kind of considering uh, getting Sophia to do or be is a um, a stylist a salon person and like start her own business um, at home where during the day she just has people come in and then maybe I like move this computer area and this is where we have people I could close it off and make it like a salon area I think that'd be really cool. Um, I'm just changing their outfits right now because they both are, they're both wearing the same thing and not that I don't like that, but, um, but that it's, um, you know, is, it, is, is time for a change. So we're going to dress them into, um, into their everydays. Here's Gavin. He brought home Bill Davison. I'm just going to say bye-bye to Bill Davidson because, we don't have time for that. We want to... I don't have time to make friends. We're going to go ahead and dismiss the nanny. She should be leaving. Thank you. And we'll get Gavin just to not change into his every day. I want him to take a quick shower. And um, what we're going to do is... Oh my god, she's exhausted though. Look how cute they are though. Um, is... Oh god. Reset. Okay. Get bottle for Tice. I also don't have high chairs, but um, what I wanted to do was invite over our family to come see the new house, do a quick housewarming party, and uh, get that under wave, although I don't know if they're all going to come. So um, I'm just going to wait till after 6 o'clock because that's usually when um, people get home from work and things like that. I think um, Benjamin comes home at 7. But I could be very, very wrong. Who knows? Bryce, honey, you're supposed to be changed into your every day. But whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about the stylist because I might set that up. Oh my god, we need to clean up this stuff. I don't know what happened. But we're going to get bugs now because we have bugs. We have bugs. Okay, it's 7 o'clock. I have to call an exterminator. There's just so much happening right now. Oh my god. The life of uh, owning a home. Being a homeowner. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw our house party. Oh, Tice has to pee. Oh, he used his diaper. That's okay, honey. And we're going to invite, obviously, our family. And Benjamin. Um, Marcus. Uh, Eva, oh, Eva won't be able to come, so she's going to have to sit it out. Um, do -do. Um, person I want to invite is Carlos, but I don't think Gavin knows him. 
I'll invite Connor. Chastity. Cannot invite Isabel, unfortunately. She's not available. Um, but we don't know Jessica or Carlos. So I think Sophia will invite them over separately. And Gavin, come take care of Tice really quickly and then dispose of that. And yeah, we will. I think we're just going to order pizza or Chinese food. Yeah, we're going to order food because nobody got time or willpower to cook all your food. So all of Gavin's friends came, but so did Marcus. And I don't think Benjamin came. Yeah, let's order Chinese food. I think she knows everyone of the Gallagher's, of the Gallagher's, <laughs> the nuisance. And she knows Connor. So that's great. Everyone's doing the smussle. Also great. Let's come give our brother a hug. We're really, just really, really glad that he's here and he's doing well at home. And I think she's just going to invite over uh, her dad. And invite over Carlos. Just so we have people here. Uh, really, really want that. I just want everyone to... I just want everyone to come. So let's invite Carlos and his household. We can invite uh, Jessica, Grayson, and Claire unfortunately won't be able to come. But she knows them, right? Yeah, she knows Claire. And she knows Grayson. But she's not really friends with them, with her. Claire, I, I don't know if I said this before, but Claire looks so much like... Um, like Carlos to me. Um, the twins have to go into their cribs, so we will take that away. We're having more people come in. Who the heck are you? Okay, we're accepting the food. Everyone's doing the smussle. It's really freaking annoying. I wish there was a way to, like, stop people from doing the smussle, because I'm just not for that right now. I'm not for it. Um, but Gallagher, Gallagher needs to come talk with his siblings. I feel like he hasn't seen them in a really long time. Is that just me? It could be because, um, it could be because we just haven't, um, played for a while. <laughs> oh my god, those two. Okay, so we're obviously going to come also give Carlos a hug. Um appreciate Jessica. I wish people would all come and eat. I don't think they're, um, looks like they don't want to come eat. That's lame. I feel like we're also like not, our hunger is not getting, going up. But isn't, isn't that the thing with eating Chinese food is, um, it doesn't really fill you up like at all. She's also in the way, Sophia, you're in the way. Let people come and eat Chinese food. Okay. Oh no, the police are really coming to shut down our party right now? No! I didn't even get a chance to do anything! Lame! Rude! Get out of here! Oh, anyways, everyone came and, um, I don't understand why they're standing in front and eating the box, like, in front of this. Like, why don't they go sit down? Oh, my God. The screaming children. Oh, my God, are they wide awake? Oh, no. Anyways, we're going to be, um, it's Bryce again. Okay, she's going to potty train Bryce. And he's going to let out Tice. And then we're both going to come to sleep. And um, I think I'll just go ahead and skip until morning time. I'll see you guys shortly. Welcome back, everyone. So Sophia finally went to school today. Uh, her grades went up a little bit. And she did her homework. So hopefully we can get her to at least like a C. She's, again, she's not like aiming for A's or anything right now. She's just trying to um, get as much as... Um, 
like ensure she gets her regular high school education because Gavin is also a big advocate for it. He was in public, uh, private school. Sorry, he was in private school, and he he knows how much education helps with your career further down the line. And although Sophia did have a speed bump, it shouldn't mean that she shouldn't aim for success. You know, so. Um, one thing that Gavin has been mustering up the courage for is to propose to Sophia. And, you know, it's really hard for both of them to... I want to turn this off because this is going to be uh, crazy. But it's really hard for both of them to find time to go on dates and stuff and for him to like take them out they have the kids to take care of and everything but you know he absolutely adores her and he like forehead kiss it's so sweet um he he just wants to like he wants to make sure she knows that he wants to tie the knot <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want her to um leap into his arms. Oh. Look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. Like, just look at them. Her hand is in her face. Oh my god, she's eating her hand. I just freaking love them so much. Oh my god, and she's so excited and happy. She's like, of course I will marry you. You are the love of my life, the father of my sons. I would do anything for you. And he's like, oh my god, I'm so happy, excited. <laughs> so we may have the wedding next part. I may wait to throw the wedding when they're actually, when she's an adult, which is in three days. She might actually be able to age up and then get married I did buy new um I did buy actually you should hold him sorry change his diapy and then put Bryce in the crib I don't know what are we trying to do everything's just going crazy right now we need to put Tice in his crib he does not need a bottle right now and um, then you can dispose of this one and we can start getting ready for bed. This Chinese food, I'm just going to toss it out. It was a horrible idea. <laughs> it, like, is not filling at all. I think we're just getting fat from it. And she wants to make something a little more healthy, like... That looks like spaghetti she's making. That's a great idea. Oh, what a sweetheart. She made them spaghetti to eat. And we can caress hands and feel full for once. There you go. And, yeah, we, um, we are going to see, because next is, next is, I believe, the, um, the prison. So we're going to see Isabel there. I was kind of thinking of um, moving and seeing Isabel um, this part to, you know, keep the Baldwin family together. Um, but she's really not not in the family anymore. She needs to get better, and I don't know I don't know when she's gonna get better. But we are. Oh my God, the kids are awake. Of course they are. I'm gonna have to deal with these crying crazy kids. This is the life. <laughs> The world is ending. This is the face that the world is a freaking ending. Like, no. This is awful. Hang on, I need a better. Kids. 
right? Right? Let's see what's Tice's face. And I like this. Bryce is just screaming. And Tice is just chilling. That's what they do. That is what they do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I know it's a little short, but we're keeping them short because we have so many parts to get through. <laughs> So if you're enjoying the series, do give this video a fat thumbs up, subscribe for more as I put them out when I can, as often as I can. I do my best. I'm so, so sorry. Um, leave your comments and suggestions down below. I really love to hear them. Do you think Sophia should be a business owner and open her own salon? Um, will they get married next part? Will they hold off? Um, do you think they'll have more kids? I kind of feel like they will have more kids. They're definitely very family oriented and, um, yeah, I'm expecting it. I am. Um, I really feel like Gavin and Gabriella are the only ones that would have more kids. I feel like the younger kids would not. I don't know, but that's for the Newson family. Um, yeah, I love you guys so, so, so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.